Bethel's reinforcements, I presume. The one thing you never want to see in Shin Megami Tensei 5 is our boy No Hobino looking into that white void right after death and you immediately get transferred into the title screen where you have to load a save where you have spent 30 minutes or even an hour grinding away and did not save and you get to a boss and you die just because you didn't prepare right or you didn't have the right demons in your party. That may have happened or could happen with one of the major bosses, Nua. Nua is a boss that you're going to face somewhere around the 6 to 12 hour mark depending how long you've put in the game and she will be a serpent demon. She is quite difficult to take on. She is not the highest level but she is pretty meaty and has quite a bit of HP. You need to make sure that you have the right demons and the right moves enabled that way you can easily overcome her. So with that being out the way, I'm Don from the Game Leaders and I'm here to help you on Shin Megami Tensei 5. Throw us a like and subscribe if this video helped you out or dislike it, that's fine too. Alright, so let me talk you through what I did to get properly prepared for Nuwa. The first thing that I made sure that I did was discover what are her weaknesses. So the first thing you need to know is her weakness is fire. She is heavily weak to fire. So that's going to be your biggest advantage here is making sure that not only you as no Hobino have a fire move, but making sure that the demons within your party have fire moves as well. The next thing I did was get no Hobino as well as at least one of my party members to level 20. You can do this by demon fusion or just by simply grinding away. Unfortunately for no Hobino, you're going to have to grind to get yourself up to that level, but your demons can get there by demon fusion. Then make sure that you have a demon that's priority is fire. For me, I went with Jack-O-Lantern as he's one of the best fire demons you can get early on during this time in the game. The second thing I did was get Itavaris. Itavaris is a drake that also has a strong fire ability. You don't have to get this one. You can teach the abilities to demons via the essences, but if you want to get one that's priority fire, then this might be a good option too. Next thing I did was ensure that my, myself, I had at least one Agi, Agilo, or Miragi ability, as well as ensuring that all of the demons in my party had these same abilities. So again, make sure that you get the Agi ability, which is the weak damage. Make sure that you get the Agilo ability, which is the weak damage that does abilities to all of the demons you face, or the Miragi, which does it to all of the demons that you face. Apologies, Agilo is the light damage. So that's going to be the medium to light damage one. Make sure you guys get that. So you want to make sure that you have all or one of, you have at least one or three of these abilities. Also make sure that you have the fire gems in your items as well as this will do heavy fire damage. Go ahead and wash, rinse, repeat as you try and take on the Nuwa, bringing and breaking down her defenses to fire. If you're able to do this, she will fall. It'll just take some time and patience as well as some healing abilities on your end to ensure that you can stay alive all the way to the end. And congratulations, you have defeated Nua. All right, if this video helped you out, throw us a like, throw us a subscribe, and make sure you guys go watch our full review of Shin Megami Tensei 5 right now on the screen. We'll see you on the next Shin Megami Tensei 5 video.